Welcome to Things I Wish I Learned at School, brought to you by White Rose Maths, especially for National Numeracy Day 2020. We firmly believe that we are all numbers people. Maths, everyone can. We're going to take a look at same difference. This can be really useful when working out change. Now, when I was at school, I was taught to use this method. It's not very efficient at all and really easy to get confused. I wish that someone would have taught me about the same difference back then. Let's take a look. So if we imagine the difference between these two numbers, and then we can move each number across one place. Notice how the difference has stayed exactly the same. So we can rewrite our calculation like this. £9.99 subtract £2.36. This is much easier to work out. And look, our answer is exactly the same. As long as the difference stays the same, our answer will be the same. Have a go at using the same difference strategy for this question. How did you get on? Let's take a look. So you should have changed it to £9.99, subtract £3.73. We have took one pence off each amount. The answer is £6.26. And let's take a quick look at our number line. The difference has stayed the same. So £10 subtract £3.74 must be £6.26. This isn't the only way we could use the same difference idea. Let's take a look at this question. I have £7.63, then spend 99 pence. How much change do I have? Well, here's the calculation we'd need to perform, but it could be a bit of a pain to work out with lots of exchanges like we saw earlier. So let's change it. We could change the calculation to £7.64 subtract one pound. All we've done is added one pence to each amount, keeping the difference the same. Let's take a look at this on a number line. We have our two amounts and we'll move them up one place. This keeps the difference the same. So seven pounds 63 subtract 99 pence must be six pounds 64. Easy. Now we all know practice makes perfect. So here's three quick questions for you to have a go at using this strategy. I hope you have fun.